Today we're going to teach you how you can repaste and undervolt your Dell XPS 105570. Yes, hello, welcome! You may be wondering why you want to undervolt and repaste your Dell XPS 105570, but let me tell you why. The Dell XPS 15 is a power beast in a thin case, and this leads to what is called thermal throttle and this is basically that the computer gets too warm and has to decrease the CPU frequency in order to keep the temps at bay as you can see we are currently not screen recording because we want the full performance because we're gonna see the idle temps and the low temps before undervolting and repasting so right now you can see my temps hovers from 40 to 45 celsius and now we're gonna run a benchmark to see the low temps. Let's start the benchmark. As you can see my temps are hovering from 80 to 90 celsius and you can see it's thermal throttling. It only runs at 3 gigahertz. Man this is bad. And that's why we're gonna undervolt this CPU and repaste it to see if we can increase the performance. What you need to open up the Dell XPS 5095-70's backplate is a Phillips head screwdriver, a T5 Torx screwdriver. And to repaste the Dell XPS 5095-70, you of course need some thermal paste. And I chose an Arctic Silver 5. And to remove the old thermal paste, you will of course need some strong alcohol, 99.5% alcohol isopropanol. And in combination with cotton swabs, you will be able to scrub off the old thermal paste. And of course you will need some paper towels. So right now you're gonna want to remove the 10 screws here as you can see around Dell Express 15 backplate with the T5 Torx screwdriver. And now you're gonna want to remove the two screwdrivers under the tag logo here. To apply new thermal paste, we have to remove the heatsink first. We're gonna clean off the heatsink first, so let's do that. So let's apply the thermal paste. Maybe a little too much on the CPU but it was a new tube so it just kept spreading but you want to have a little less on the CPU. Let's apply the heatsink. And uh, please do not uh, lift it up to see how you've done because that will mess up your thermal paste and it will create air bubbles. So just press it gently down and trust the process here. Okay. So 
So as you can see the idle temps are about the same, it's running around 50 degrees celsius right now but it was lower but I've turned on the machine and it's doing some processes behind the scenes so yeah let's undervolt this CPU and let's see the real benefit uh, during load. So you have to go to the cord voltage offset and we're gonna do minus 130 volts because during my research I've tested it and it works. You have to test it using a benchmark every for every undervolt decreasing you're doing. So let's run the benchmark test right now. Start. It's running at 3.9 GHz at the moment. It's uh, basically 1 GHz faster than uh, using the CPU without undervolting. We're gonna run the test for like 5 minutes to really see the low temps and uh, see if it's st stable right now. Okay, so we can see it's running at 3.7 GHz instead of 3.9 GHz. And as you can see, it's pretty stable and the increase you have here, 3.7 GHz, man, it's going to be astonishing during a video render. I'm really satisfied with the results and uh, this has been the undervolting and repasting results. And that's it, how to repaste and undervolt your CPU in the Dell XPS 15 9570. Thank you so much for watching, hit me with a comment down below if you have any questions about this procedure. Hit me with a thumbs up button so you can show us some support. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content from Human and Sturgeon. And press that bell icon if you want to get notified of our new videos. And please remember who this is. This is... Human! And Sutan! <laughs>